Hey guys, this is Brian Bennett for CNET.com, and we are at Verizon's launch event in New York taking a look at two brand new phones. These are the two new Droid devices to join uh, Verizon's lineup. We've got the Droid uh, Max, which is made by Motorola, and it actually uh, has a very large battery in it, a 3,500 milliamp battery, which apparently will uh, let you have a runtime of 48 hours. That's two days of uh, runtime, which is pretty awesome. Uh, as you can tell, it's got a uh, 5 inch AMOLED display, 720p, and um, the device itself is actually not very thick, you know, considering it has a large battery. Um, this is the Droid Ultra, which, as you can tell, it has actually the same screen as the Max, but it uh, has a slightly smaller battery. Essentially, it's very thin, has less battery life, but it has um, extremely thin profile, and both of these products have a 10 megapixel camera on the back with a sensor technology that supposedly will allow for better performance in low light. Um, you also have a Kevlar coating on both of these. This may not, on the Ultra, may not look like it's Kevlar, but it just has a, uh, a polished finish as opposed to soft touch on the back of the Droid Max. Actually, what's really interesting about these products is that uh, it has a 8X or uh, X8 processor is what Motorola is calling it. It essentially has eight cores which, um, when you boil it all down, um, it has some for processing, some for graphics, and also one that will enable you to do uh, contextual searches, what uh, Motorola is calling a touchless interface. You don't have to actually touch the screen to begin Google searches uh, and plug into the Google Now feature, which is something that's pretty cool. So, in case you're wondering when the Droid Ultra and Droid Razer Max are coming to stores, Essentially, both are available for pre-order now, though you, you have to wait until August 20th for them to hit the stores. And uh, the Ultra over here is going to be $199, whereas the Droid Max will be $299. There you have it, folks. We just took a first look at the Motorola Droid Max and the Motorola Droid Ultra. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET.com.